Hey everybody, welcome to Straight Hood, five ingredients in this. So today I'm gonna make some potato salad. Now, all you do first is you take your eggs, and all I'm doing is put my eggs in a pot of water, about two cups, maybe three cups of water. You just put them on in there and boil them for like 20 minutes. Now, once you do that, you put in some cold water so it can cool off so you can crack them. You do the same thing about potatoes. Now put a whole potato in there. I keep the skin on and boil it completely off. Just pull them in there, fill the water up with the potatoes, and you're good. Let them boil for about two and a half hours, at least until the fork can stick down in there and be soft. Okay? Now, all I did was crush my potatoes up. That's all I did. Like this. Let me show you. Did this. All I'm doing is going through them, kind of small, like a little bit, you know, however you would like it. And we're going to go through it, go through it. This all I did. And I cut them up. I do the same thing for my eggs, too. Now, I boil about 12 eggs, something around there. Okay, put this up. Now, boil my eggs like this. I cut some up already. This is about five, five to six. And you just cut them up and put them right on in there. Now, you're going to use your meal. You want to get Miracle Whip, at least that's what I use, because it's good. I use my Miracle Whip, and I put it in there. Okay. Now, I'm going to use a radish. Now, my radish, I use probably about two spoons for Something like that. And my mustard. Now. I just dip, just squeeze one good time, maybe two, because it just make it all good. Now, when you're doing this, some people will start by putting relish in there, I mean some celery in there, or onions. I don't like doing that. This is tater salad, and this is what I want it to taste like. So I just mix it all on up in here really good so it can all form what it has to. Now remember, this is to your taste. You just mix it up on in here just like that. Pour some more mayonnaise if necessary now. There's a lot of it, so mix it on up just like that. Let all that stuff form up in there. Get it all in there nice together. Just like this. I'm mixing it all in there good. Now you can always add with extra if you feel like this is not good enough. Just add a little more mayonnaise. Now I'm not going to get it super mayonnaise-y, but I want to get it to where it's creamy and good. See how all that's coming out like that? See how all that's in there? Just mix it up and keep on skinning it all again. That's all I do. Then it's going to really start taking form. Mm, put me a little bit more relish in there. Because I love the relish taste up in there. And I just mix it on. Just keep on mixing it up. Mm-hmm. Look at it. Look how juicy it's starting to get. Look at that. Good old tater salad like that. Still nice and warm. Like that. Now, why don't you get your potato salad how you want to be? I just kind of make it look pretty, kind of just smoothing that out like this. Just like this. Then, 
Let me wash my hands. Even though I'm using for the eggs, but. Now, once you're done with all that, you take the six eggs, whatever you got left over, and you just cut them down the middle. And you're just placing them there. Just to make it look all pretty, I just cut them on down the middle. And just lay them on down. And you ain't gonna have, you ain't gotta have them big and fat. If you wanna cut it like that extra, and you can do that too. Just to keep forming little things, just to make your tater salad look nice and pretty. My kids and grandkids love the eggs. Okay, just like this. Until it's all together, until it's all done up, making it look right. Now, it ain't gotta be no perfect cuts or nothing. This is your potato salad. Make it any way you want to. So I'm gonna put all these lip ones to the end like this and all that. Get some more. Just cut them and place them. Any way you want. Cut them and place them. Like that till you get it all nice and round, looking all good. Just like that. Man, you just pretty much making it look nice. Cutting it. And you placing them down. And I got these last ones. And I just place them on down. Now. Once you place them down, you practically done. You wanna wipe off your stuff, make it look all nice and pretty. The last thing I do, I get some paprika and I just sprinkle it to give it that old fashioned look, I guess that's what people do. But my mother taught me this and this is how I do it. Now there you have it, y'all. We have some good old potato salad. Simple, easy, five ingredients. But remember, you can put anything else you want in your potato salad. I love it the regular way. This is what I like. Do however makes you feel. Come back to straight hood. Five ingredients or less. And I'm cooking up something else for you. Enjoy.